Nice check there from Ryan Powell to take him off the puck. Saris tries to get it up to Valerino. Sent back in. Saris led him just a too, little too far. And miscommunication by Saris and Ryapel almost cost him. And what should have been the offsides there, they actually swept it back in from over the blue line, but there was no call for the offsides. Now Ryapel taking a hard check. In behind the net here, played off the back of the net. And the net has come off. And you're right, uh, Big Papa, not a lot of penalties tonight, just one so far on Eastern Illinois. Kentucky did not capitalize on it. Kent State beat Adrian 4-3 in the Battle of Robert Morris's. Robert Morris, PA 3, Robert Morris, Illinois 2. Oh, wow. Illinois takes down Oklahoma 5-1. That's D1 hockey. That is D1. Teams. Oakland romps Eastern Michigan 9-2. Wow. Ridiculous score. Oh, look out, Getz has a one-on-one. -on -one. He's all alone, he's taking off the puck, he shoots, and saves. A push down from behind, I can see Jim Borgard on the bench looking for a call. He's almost wanting Getz to get a penalty shot. His hand was up, like, come on, his, where his is hand the call? Okay, now he just finally put his hand back down. Borgard screaming for a call there, as Getz got pushed from behind. Got another shootout game tonight, I'll tell you about the next whistle. Top of the zone, nice play there from Morgan. Morgan almost had his helmet come play. off. Robinson trying to get something mo moving, but Eastern Illinois maintains possession. Nice check coming up, but uh, we do have a penalty coming That's off gonna this. be on Robinson. Actually, or is it gonna be? I think it is yeah, gonna be on Robinson. Right. It just took his, uh, just hit the man completely after he was out of the play. And the referee is now telling him, uh, you're going to the box. So Robinson in for two minutes. Another shootout, Washington and Jefferson beats Youngstown State three to two in a shootout. Liberty beats Delaware four to one. Number four, Ohio beats number 13, Michigan Dearborn two one. Another shootout we'll tell you about in just a moment. Face off one by the Panthers. A lot of close games in ACHA tonight. Boarding the call on Robinson. Uh, it was obvious. Nice block by Ampleford, but Eastern Illinois keeps it in. Tries to sweep it. Nice save from Steinbrecher. Saris will get it out of danger. Here's Skirton. He'll play it up to Ampleford at the top of the zone. He fires a shot. That sails wide. Actually, there's a save off of that. Now puck in behind the net here, just killing some time off this power play. Tucky doing a nice job of forechecking, but got to make sure they get back on defense. Rival left hand side trying to sweep at it, does so. Panthers there to retrieve though. Now they're in the slot. Look to fire one, comes off the stick of Skirton and off the back of Ampleford. Ampleford loses it though as he skates up. Luckily for him though, got out into the neutral zone, so Eastern Illinois has to reset. <clears throat> now into the circle here. Opportunity, shot. Whoa. Steinbrecher able to make the save. <laughs> Saris had his hand around the back of the head of number 10 for Eastern Illinois. I think he was just kind of saying, hey, come here, let's talk a little bit. Player having none of that. Penn State gets a road win at Rhode Island, 4-3 in a shootout. Our uh, friends from Niagara fall tonight, 5-4 in overtime to oh. Canton. The Indiana Hoosier, Hoosiers get destroyed by Lindenwood, 9-1. Wow. Now is that Linden one D one or D two Lindenwood? I uh, any does verification not, on that? Uh, does not say. Because they do, they still do drop back to the D two every once in a while, as they did last week to take on Kentucky. Just list the score there. Tough break for the Purple Eagles of Niagara going down tonight. Rutgers beat Ithaca nine to three. Puck at the top of the zone. Play it off the sideboards. Here's Valerino. And he gets taken Nice down. job. Of, he kept the puck moving, though. But Eastern only keeps possession. Top of the zone here once again. Moving the puck around. There's a shot. It's actually 
Off the back of the skate of an Indiana player. Or I thought Indiana, it might have hit off the back of, back of Hubbard there. 4-3, <clears throat> still your score. Nice sweep there from Lyons to get around the boards and kill some more time. And that will kill off the penalty. 16 minutes left in the second period. Bleachers are full tonight. Some fans down below us. So good crowd tonight. Number 96 caught an edge and went sliding into the boards. Now they're trying to dig the puck out here. Finally do so. Here's Vitt. He's going to play it up to Valerino. Nice play there. He's got Hubbard on the right side. Valerino's going to take it in, try to get it over to Hubbard. And nice defense, though, from Valerino, the Panthers. Valerino at the point. He'll sweep it deep, and now they actually got a shot on. It goes out of play. 15-27 remaining, 4-3 your score here. Indiana PA beats Pittsburgh three to one. Let's see what other guys score here. UMBC and D2, Maryland Baltimore County beat St. Joe's six three. They, UMBC ranked number four in the Southeast region. Big one there. My puck swept around here. Kentucky try to get it in. It's going to go the length of the ice down to Steinbrecher, and he'll sweep it off to the side. Robinson to Morgan. Morgan plays it up to Ampleford. Ampleford loses it and played back out of the zone. Robinson will sweep it around and Kentucky will come back off sides here. On back on sides, that is. Eagles moving the, Eagles, oh my gosh, Panthers. <laughs> I, 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 Get with it, young man. <laughs> Panthers moving the <laughs> puck smoothly there. They're skating very well tonight, Eastern Illinois is, I gotta say. They're gonna let this one go, wave off the icing. Oh, calling off sides on Morgan. I'm actually looking actually, back. Actually, no, the door opened. Yeah, the door to the entrance of the ring for the Zamboni has opened. That was either, I don't even know if that thing was closed, to be honest. I thought I had noticed something odd when I looked over there before, and now I see it, yeah. The second board for the Zamboni entrance to the ice was somehow got opened. Boy, that could have been a danger, that could have been a serious safety hazard there. There's gotta be a, uh, a bar for them to. Boy, that's very, very dangerous on that side of the ice. And as it stands now, we're gonna halt play here for a yeah, second. That, until they, they have to get. halt play until they can get something to close that. That's somebody could get momentum could take him right through there and cause an injury. 14-33 left in the second. 4-3 still your score. Nobody has scored at this point in the second period. Uh, with uh, pertaining to Davenport moving to D1, right now purely rumor. We still think, we still say they're a D1 team masquerading as Division II. <laughs> and I don't think they would suffer too long from a, a transition lag going to D1 either. I think they would more than hold their own <clears throat> at the uh, Division I level. as we're still waiting for some kind of apparatus to close the doors. Davenport beat Miami uh, five to two on Friday. And eight to four today. So Davenport sweeps Miami of Ohio. Oh, I think they got it closed and the Hinkleys are urging the crowd for a, a sarcastic uh, applause. <clears throat> uh, they do have it closed and as I think we're about set to resume action. And here we are. Hey, look at these Eastern Illinois jerseys. They remind me of the uh, Hawks from the first Mighty Ducks movie. <laughs> Sand, Beautiful. Sands the, uh, the white logo on the front. Exactly. Wow. It's like trying to sweep on. Look out for Morgan. Oh, that was wide. That fired wide, hit an ankle of the uh, hey, Eastern like Illinois player number 28. Morgan's got a wicked slap shot, very scary. Wicked had. 
Chance ahead, nice poke check though from Robinson to prevent a potential breakaway for Eastern Illinois. <coughs> a nice crisp pass across.